Hello St. Paul's. We've had some encouraging news this week in Ontario. It seems that the first wave of COVID-19 may have peaked and so far it has not overwhelmed our healthcare system and we are so grateful. Of course, this raises some questions for us. When do these physical distancing measures, which seem to be very effective, start to get rolled back? When can I go back to work? When can I go back to school? When can we gather again as a church? And we just don't know. But what we do know is that Jesus is still Lord. And as Andrew shared last week, he's given us a job to do. The way that we talk about this job at St. Paul's is that we are on mission to creatively invite people into a growing relationship with Jesus. And that mission has not changed, even in this time of unpredictability. So at St. Paul's, we are not pausing on discipleship, we're resetting. A word that we're hearing a lot right now is we're reimagining. We're reimagining what discipleship could look like in this time of physical distancing, and then again as physical distancing measures start to roll back. So please stay tuned for more on that. But in the meantime, you can connect in virtually to be a part of this. On Monday evenings, there are virtual discussions about this week's sermon. On Thursday evenings, some of us are gathering to talk about Acts, which we're reading to, through together as a church. If you are in high school or you are a university age person, there are virtual groups where you can gather as well. So please connect into those. Also, if you're part of a small group or virtual home church that is meeting and you would have space to invite others into that, please let us know. We would love to be able to connect those who are looking to be part of a home church with those of you who have that space. And finally, on the theme of adapting, the St. Paul's leadership has decided that we will not proceed with planning or holding a summer camp this year. Even if physical distancing measures are rolled back, we don't want to begin by gathering 350 volunteers and kids for a week. Our, the safety of our volunteers and kids is really important to us, and we want to be able to do this in a way that we can assure that. So we'll look to planning that for 2021. In the meantime, we're also going to be thinking about creative ways that we can support families and kids through this time. As we head into this week, let's keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and stay on mission. May God bless you with grace, hope, and peace. Thank you.